Good evening, commissioners. I'm Kathleen Mallory, Planning and Sustainability Manager, and I'm joined this evening with our new principal planner, Jasmine Kim, to discuss an amendment to the city's safety and hazards element of the 2030 general plan. The amendment before you this evening to the safety and hazards element of the general plan incorporates the requirements pursuant to federal and state regulations. In September of this year, the city council adopted our local plan known as the local hazard mitigation plan. That plan was adopted as part of the overall county's hazard mitigation plan. Throughout the presentation, we'll refer to that as plan. The plan which addresses natural and man-made hazards is updated every five years. All participating lo local jurisdictions have been responsible for assisting in the development of the hazard and vulnerabilities assessment and the mitigation action strategies for their respective jurisdictions and organizations. That work began in May of 2021 and the collaboration and coalition of various Ventura County cities, districts, and agencies. The plan presents the accumulated information in a unified framework to ensure a comprehensive and coordinated plan covering all planning partners within the planning area. The local hazard mitigation plan prepared in accordance with the Cal OES and FEMA regulation guidelines. The safety and hazards element referenced our local hazard mitigation plan without reference to a specific year means that the city will have to, will not have to amend the safety and hazards element due to plan updates. The plan addresses a number of natural hazards, including earthquake, drought, landslide, and mass movements, sea level rise, tsunamis, and severe storms, just to name a few. The intent is that there is a comprehensive plan to, for all jurisdictions and agencies throughout Ventura County to address the hazards on this screen and that I've summarized. Then, as part of that larger plan, cities and jurisdictions are required to adopt a local plan, which is a part of the larger multi-hazard plan. The amendment before you this evening to the safety and hazard element of the general plan is exempt from the California Environmental Quality Act under the general rule provision because it can be seen with certainty that there is no possibility that this amendment to the safety element will have a significant effect on the environment. Ultimately, down the road, with implementation of projects locally within that multi-hazard mitigation plan or plan, those projects will be subject to environmental analysis down the road. So why is this amendment necessary? It's very important that, that we cover the reasons why, and, and mainly because if we don't have the language before you this evening in the safety and hazards element, we cannot take advantage of FEMA funding. So there are two steps. One, you have to adopt the and be a part of the multi-hazard mitigation plan, which as I mentioned earlier, was already adopted by the city council in September of this year. But also we have to have specific language within our safety and hazard element so that in the future, in the event that a natural hazard or a man-made hazard occurs, which is within the purview of our local hazard mitigation plan, we can take advantage of federal emergency management agency funding to pay for improvements uh, covered within our local hazard mitigation plan. So for example, uh, examples of FEMA funding that we could take advantage of are hazard mitigation grants, including post-disaster mitigation funds and building resilient infrastructure and communities or something called BRIC grants. So with the commission's adoption of, and recommendation on adoption of this language, we will have both two elements in place so that we can take advantage of future grant funding in the event there's a natural or man-made hazard. So our recommendation 
is to amend the language by in the safety and hazards chapter of the 2030 general plan to incorporate this language. This is language that is specifically approved by the uh, FEMA guidance body and it cannot be amended. This addresses all the requirements pursuant to um, FEMA and OES provisions. So our recommendation is to add into our hazards, our safety and hazards element, as well as chapter nine, which is a summary of uh, the preceding chapters, adding this language in italics. Um, local hazard mitigation plan, implement mitigation actions identified within the local hazard mitigation plan, which includes both short and long-term strategies involving planning, policy changes, program, projects, programs, projects, and other activities. Uh, and then further describe that the local hazard mitigation plan for the County of, of Ventura and the City of Oxnard planning area was developed in accordance with the Disaster Mitigation Act of 2000 and followed FEMA's 2021 local hazard mitigation plan guidance. The local hazard mitigation plan incorporates a process where hazards are identified and profiled the people and facilities at risk are analyzed and the mitigation actions are developed to reduce or eliminate hazard risk. The local hazard mitigation plan is a multi-jurisdictional plan and is available at Ready Ventura County and then uh, identification of that web page. And that language and that specific citation is in accordance with the guidance that we have to uh, incorporate into our safety element. After this plan is approved um, by every single local jurisdiction and all the partners, and then approved by Cal OES and FEMA, all of the uh, individual organizations and agencies collectively will be, avail will be able to apply for hazard mitigation project funding from various grant sources. So this evening, the, the staff recommends that the Planning Commission received this presentation on amendments to Chapter 6 and Chapter 9 of the City's 2030 General Plan, and then open the public hearing and receive public testimony, and then adopt a resolution recommending City Council approval of an amendment to our safety and hazards element, Chapter 6 and 9 of the 2030 General Plan. This concludes our presentation, and we'd be happy to answer any questions.